Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to delete cache files on our Mac. So you might be wondering what a cache file is. And what it basically is, is that it's temporary data stored on a hard drive to make processes a little bit more efficient. Our Mac takes data on how we use certain applications like Spotify, Google Chrome, or Safari, and it downloads certain things. And it does make it a little bit quicker. But the downside of it is that before we even know it, these cache files do accumulate and take a lot of hard drive space. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do it manually and how to do it efficiently. So here's the first way to delete the cache files from our applications. Let's click on Finder, head over to Go, and scroll down to Go to Folder. You're going to copy this instruction into the directory, which is tilde slash library slash caches. Click on enter. And now you see all these folders of all the cache files that we have on our application. You're going to click into the folders until you find certain cache files that you can delete. What you really do not want to do is this. You're not going to highlight all the folders, right click, and click move to trash. This is one way that you could seriously cause harm to your device. Do not delete any of the folders that you see. You have to delete the cache file specifically. So the second thing that we're gonna be deleting is the system cache files. These are the things that our Mac is creating to make our processes a lot more similar. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. Click on Finder, hit over to Go, and back to Go to Folder. The instruction that we're gonna use this time is very similar, which is this. You could copy and paste this into the directory. It's the same thing without the tilde. So I'm going to delete that and click to that. And just like last time, make sure you click into the folder and delete the specific cache file. Do not delete the folders. So you just saw how to manually delete cache files from our user, system, and application folders. Now we're going to delete browser cache files. So I'm gonna head over to Google Chrome, click on new window, and I'm gonna click on the stop light on the top right corner and go to more tools and clear browsing data. In this window, I can delete browsing history, cookies, other data, cache images, and files. These are all things that Google Chrome, for example, stores and downloads so that it can launch the websites that I visit most often a little bit more faster. The downside of it is that it collects these things called cookies and tracking data, and it does kind of invade privacy because it observes everything that I do online, and then it kind of sells that data to somebody else and so on and so forth. It is an invasion of privacy. So you can clear all this cookies, cache files right here, and boom, it's all gone. So the secondary reason to do this is so that you can regain that privacy and also regain that hard drive space. So what you just saw was the manual way to delete all the cache files. And yeah, it can get a little bit scary, but there is one simple way to do all of that through a program called Clean My Mac X. So let's go ahead and open up Clean My Mac X right here and look at this beautiful UI. We are gonna go over to system junk in the cleanup section and we're going to run a quick scan. And right off the bat, it can tell us that we can remove 5.7 gigs. But if we click review details, we can actually delete up to 39 gigs. So let's click on everything up to the downloads to unused disk images, universal binaries, whatever that is, and document versions. Let's clean that. So just like that, I cleared 38 gigs of cache files off of my MacBook. And this device is only six months old. So imagine deleting all of your cache files from your iMac or MacBook of two years old, of five years old. It's crazy how much we can be storing on this hard drive and we don't even know it. So I highly recommend Clean My Mac X. There's a link down in the description box below. You could start a little free trial or you could buy the whole thing if you want. So now you've seen how to manually delete user application and browser cache files and those are all great ways to do it if you know how to do it correctly but of course nothing beats using clean my mac x because it does all of that in one go so i highly recommend that program there is that link in the description box below couldn't recommend it more